Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the mathematics. Today we will discuss about the polar form of the Cauchy-Riemann equation. We will explain with the help of some examples. Myself, Dr. Harish Gar. You can simply follow my YouTube channels, or else you can simply contact me through my email IDs if you have any doubt. So what we have discussed in our last lectures, we have seen the what is the Cauchy-Riemann equation in the Cartesian coordinates. Right now we are discussing how you can define the Cartesian, how you can change the CR equation. That is the Cauchy-Riemann equation. This is the Cauchy-Riemann equations to the polar. coordinates form so as we all knows the polar in, in the cartesian coordinate f of z is my here and the cauchy riemann equations of this nature partial derivative of u with respect to x is v with respect to y and of this nature so our target is how you can change this cartesian coordinate to the polar one so first of all we all knows how you can use the transformation from cartesian to polar we used this one so from here you can see Once I substitute the value of this x and y in here, so then u is my r comma theta form, and v is also in the form of this. So once u and v are in the form of the polar coordinates, so the corresponding function becomes my polar coordinates. Then our target is to change this Cartesian Cauchy Riemann equations into the polar equation. So the task is very simple. It means your target is to find the partial derivative. so as my u is a function which are depending upon the r and theta similarly v is a function depending upon the r and theta so we need these four derivatives so how you can make the derivative that's a very simple so since u is dependent upon the x u is dependent upon the y and we need the partial derivative with respect to z fine so this is the chain rule so fine this is the chain rule we how you can define this chain rule for that you may i recommended you can watch my playlist of the mathematics one this is a chain rule lecture you can see in my playlist of the mathematics one where i have already described how you can use the chain rule so like here so what is that what is the meaning of this this is the partial derivative u with respect to x this is the partial derivative u with respect to y this is the partial derivative of x with respect to r This is the partial derivative of y with respect to r. Then you can define the u with respect to r is nothing but there are the two ways. One is going through this direction to this direction, so it can be like of this, this one multiply by this. Fine. Plus the second one is you can move on this to this, so you can return this as partial derivative of u with respect to y. And partial derivative of y with respect to r. Fine. This is the way you can write of this method. Similarly, uh, moreover, uh, from here you can see you know x. You can see this value. You can easily see partial derivative of x with respect to is a cos theta. Y with respect to r, you can easily see it's a sin theta. So I can substitute this value and this value as here. So I can return here. Similarly, how you can define this u? with respect to theta u is the function of the x u is the function of the y x is the function of theta and y is the function of theta so this is my partial derivative of u with respect to x partial derivative of x with respect to theta u with respect to y and y with respect to theta the detail of all this i as i told you this is available in this my chain rule partial derivative you can see is a 20 minutes lecture you can see with the help of the 17 plus examples explained in that video so what is that how you can write that there are the again the two ways one this way you can start from this to this so partial derivative of u with respect to x and x with respect to theta plus what is the second is u with respect to y and y with respect to theta so again you know this value because you have the expression of x and y you can substitute this value like what is the partial derivative of x with respect to theta is a minus r sin theta and what is the partial derivative of y with respect to theta is r cos theta you can substitute these values as here similarly you can define the v with respect to r so v is the function of the x v is the function of y you can define here so this is my Partial derivative of v with respect to x and so on, right? 
So again, you can see partial derivative of x with respect to r you have, this value you have, and these four values you can substitute this. So finally, what you can got is, since it's a cauchy riemann equation, we all know partial derivative of x is here. I can substitute this value as a v of y. This value I can substitute as a ux. v of x I can substitute as a minus of vy. So what is the partial derivative of this is? I can substitute ux is my vy cos theta. uy is nothing but my minus of vx. Similarly, I can substitute here. Or you can see this value is nothing but, or in, in another word, you can see what is that? If I take r as a common, what is the remaining term? Vy cos theta minus Vx sin theta. So that is here. So I can write. Similarly, from this equation and from this equation, I can substitute this value. You can see V of x is nothing but my minus of Vy. V of y is nothing but my U of x. Can you find the relation between here? If I take what you can do, minus Uy cos theta, minus Uy. So if I take minus R as a common, or I can say if I divide it by minus of R, so it is R Uy cos theta minus R Ux sin theta. So what will happen? This is the term. You can see R Uy cos theta minus R Ux. So it is partial derivative u with respect to theta is the right answer. So therefore, these two expressions you can see is my polar form of the Cauchy Riemann equations. So you can write as a ur is 1 by r of this. So this is a polar form of the Cauchy Riemann equations. So once as we define, once it's a Cauchy Riemann equation, you can find the derivative. So once you can remember, if you have this function, so then how you can define the partial derivative of the Cartesian coordinate? We have seen in our last lecture, we can define like of this method, fine? But now all the terms are in the polar coordinates. So we can define, we can start from here. We can find, convert this equation to the polar equation, either in the terms of the R or in terms of theta. How you can do? That's again a very simple, we already compute the expression of these two terms as here. We can find the value of ux and uy from this. So this is the value of the ur. So by using the Cauchy Riemann equation, I can convert this all in terms of the ux and vx. So this is the term which we need convert here. Similarly, we can start from the u theta, which is here. So I can return u theta I, as I already compute this one. This is the u theta. I can substitute the value of the uy as minus vx. Now you have the two equations, you have the two equations like of this form ax plus by is equal to say 7 or like say uh, in, the, in the simple form like say 2x minus 4y is equal to 7 minus 3x plus 5y is equal to 9. Can you find the value of the x and y from here? You can easily solve. So from here there are the two equations u x and the v of x. So you can solve these two equations. How? I can multiply this equation by r sin theta and this equation by cos theta. So what will happen if I add them? It's r this plus cos theta of u. So this part will be cancelled out. It is my what is that? It's a minus r v x sin square minus r v x cos square. So from here you can see minus r v x common cos square plus sin square is 1. So can you find the value of u is from here I can find the value of v x. So what is my v x? It's a minus 1 over r of this term r sin theta u of r cos theta and u of theta. Remember what is the u r is? u r is partial derivative of u with respect to r, u theta is partial derivative of u with respect to theta. Similarly, I can multiply by this, you can get expression as here. So substitute these two expression in the given here, we will get this as. Now you can more simplify that, how you can do? I can make the pair of the cos theta, I can make the pair of sin theta. So you can see this is the expression or further you can use the uh, CR equations 
this is my cr equation i can substitute the value of vr i can substitute the value of the vr because i can change all the v in terms of the u so i can substitute the vr here v theta i can find the values from here so you will get as this is the value i can obtain from this vr i can obtain from here so now i uh, further you can make as a real component separate and imaginary separate this is the term what is that this is e raised to power minus minus iota theta this is e raised to power minus iota theta so this is the expression corresponding to this polar this is the derivative expression for the polar coordinates look at the one example so given that function f of z is here you have to check whether it's a differentiable or not how you can check whether it's a differentiable or not first thing is you have to check whether the cr equation satisfied second you have to check whether the derivative exists the derivative limit exists and unique if these two properties satisfied then you can say it is a differentiable and if it is differentiable then you can check whether find the derivative so as we have discussed there are the two method first one is a partial derivative with respect to z bar is zero so you can clearly say the function is my here you can see partial derivative is my zero is analytic second method is you can check about the cr equations how you can do that i can firstly write in terms of the z in terms of the x and y so i can write this is my function so here the complex number is the denominator so i can rationalize it fine so if i rationalize them it will be my of this nature now you can see how you can find the value of the u how you can find the value of the v so it is not an easy target you can see how you can do you have to open this pascal triangle or you can use the pascal rule for or you can use the binomial coefficient you can expand this series a minus b raised to power 4 but it will take a lot of the calculations so in order to make it easier i can convert this equation into the polar form that could be easy how you can do the polar form so the polar form is my here fine so i can substitute this value so what is the 1 over z raised to power 4 so it is r raised to power 4 e raised to power of this so since it is a 1 over i can write here i can convert into the sin and cosine this one so what is my u u is the real component this is my real component what is the imaginary component is minus 4 over r raised to power 4 so now once you can do the u and v check whether the cr equation satisfied and they are continuous so find the u of r partial derivative with respect to r so it is my this term fine find the u with respect to theta so 1 over r for is constant cos is a minus sin of 4 and 4 is a separate this is the partial derivative of u with respect to r and with respect to theta similarly you can find the partial derivative of v with respect to r and v with respect to theta these are the four expressions now can you verify whether u of r is 1 over r of v theta like of this from here and from here can you say if you multiply this by 1 by r is it same yes it satisfied and you can see whether it is also same if you multiply with the minus 1 by r yes again it's same so you can see the cauchy riemann equations are satisfied now you have to prove that whether the partial derivative these are my continuous or not again because my z is non zero so once the z is my non zero it means x plus iota y is my non zero so x is my non zero y is my non zero so the r what is my r is x square plus y square which is again a non zero so this is my trigonometric function which is a continuous this is my continuous r is a non zero so function is my continuous so it means because the denominator is my non zero function is continuous so both the equations are satisfied so hence this function is my analytic and differentiable everywhere so or you can see this function is my entire function so once you know it's there then you can find the derivative what is that e raised to power minus iota theta of this so substitute the value of this what is my ur this is my ur this is my v of r i can substitute here i can make the minus 4 over r raised to power 5 common what will happen inside it is cos of 4 theta minus iota times 
sine of 4 theta. So what is this expression? Can you convert in the exponential form? It is e raised to the power minus iota 4 theta. So what is that? I can return this term as of this one. So you can see the base, you can add them of r raised to the power 5, e raised to the power minus 5 iota theta. I can make this pair. What is that? I can minus, I can write, return the denominator of this. That is my here. And moreover, you, you all know how you can find the derivative of this. This is minus 4 over z raised to the power 5, which is the same of this. So this is the way you can define the polar form of the cauchy riemann equations and its corresponding example. We will see some more examples, which is, is the next lecture. That is the examples of the cauchy riemann equations and the analytic function. Till then, you can simply like, share and comment on my videos. Best of luck, students. Happy learning. Always.